We don't know exactly what we're going to encounter. We just know that we're going to go out and love on people in the name of Jesus. Some people don't want help, man. They just want to help them out, you know. Some people do not want help. We're just looking to see if there's anyone out here tonight that we could just talk to for a moment. What's up, fellas? How are we doing? Doing good, all right? Awesome, man. Hey, man, I want to tell you guys, Jesus loves you. He thinks that you guys are amazing. Oh, we know he does, man. Amen. Church every Sunday. Praise God. Awesome. You guys have any pain in your body? I do. You do? Come here a second. Do. I want to show you something real quick. On. In 2015, the Holy Spirit got a hold of me. completely changed my life. Now I pray for people and I see God do amazing things. I broke so my neck when I was 19. I slept, I slept in. I dove into a pool, shot in my fourth vertebra, and I was paralyzed on the right side of my body, and I was completely healed in six months. Science. God does amazing things, man. So I do a vlog because I try to teach people how to go out and love on people in the name of Jesus, and I'm not expecting anything in return. Like, that's this is just freely give as we freely receive. Yeah. So what's the pain in your body? I don't know a lot, man. Just a lot. So I'm going to pray for you anyway, and, God, and God's going to touch your body. Is that cool? It's going to touch your heart, too, because you got something going on in your heart, too. Are you okay being on camera? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. All right, cool. cool. What's your name, man? Shane. I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder. You cool with that? Yes, sir. All right, just relax, okay? All right. Gotcha. So do you have physical pain also? No. So, Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you for Shane and how much you love him. God, thank you that he is so valuable to you, that if it was just him, Jesus, you still would have gone to the cross, that you spent your entire life, you enjoyed your life, Lord. I feel like that's what the Lord is saying to you, Shane. He wants you to enjoy it. You're not been enjoying your life for a minute. He wants you to know that he enjoyed his life. And now you believe in Jesus, right? Okay, so he lives in you now, right? Okay, so let me ask you a question. If Jesus lived in you and he enjoyed his life, is he enjoying his life through you? He is. Amen. Father, we just ask you for more joy in Jesus' name, Father. I thank you that this man, he's a smart man. You're very intellectual as well. You're very uh, observant and astute. And so, Father, I just ask you to touch his heart. Even right now, Lord, show him how amazing you are and how amazing he is as your creation, that you don't make any junk. He's so valuable to you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. I'll give it a second there. Shane, you feeling any tingling? A little bit? So watch this. Double it, Lord. What you feeling right now? Is it still happening? It's still feeling, it's, it's down, it's at the base of your spine and it's going up your neck, right? Yeah, and my legs too. And your legs too, yeah. So that's the Holy Spirit. You ever experienced that before? No? So the Holy Spirit is God with us, right? He's He's God here on earth, right? Jesus is on the throne. Holy Spirit is here with us. He lives in you. And He's and the Bible says that He's going to pour out His Spirit on all flesh. Believe that? Because okay, that's what you're experiencing right now, man. That's right. You're experiencing the Holy Spirit right now. He's touching your body. And look, I, I can let you go and it's still you're still feeling it. Right? Yeah. Right? You're not messing with me, right? No, I'm not messing with you. You're being for real. I'm being for real, man. So, I feel tingling in my legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in your foot, too. Yeah. Because yeah. the Holy Spirit's doing something in your foot. Did you hit, did you hurt your ankle or something like that when you were young? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. How would I know that stuff? Yeah, how do you know that shit? Because God is talking to me. And he's yeah. telling me about that's you. Because he loves you, Shane. Like, he knows everything about you. You know, the Bible talks about how he knows the very number of hairs on our head. Right? Yeah, I've heard that. But check this out. I just told you all the things that you never didn't, you didn't even tell me. How would I know that stuff unless God was revealing it? It's not a guess, right? You're still feeling the tingling. He wants you to know, Shane, that he really, really does love you, man. You've been having a hard time receiving his love, right? As freely as you allowed me to step up to you, right? You guys were walking on your own. I was like, hey, what's up, fellas, right? Real nonchalant, real chill. And then I told you Jesus loves you, and you were like, yeah, we know that. We go to church every Sunday, right? right. Look how easy. You received me, and I'm just a man, right? It's the same way that God wants to be received by you. I promise you, I'm gonna put my hand on your heart because you told me to do that. Holy Spirit, come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we have we have power. Je Jesus gives us power. Jesus gives us His love, His power to heal our own body. How was your relationship instantly? With Jesus, right now, man. Not too good. Not too good. Do you want it to be better? Yeah. You for real? Yeah, man. I mean. I wrong with that. Okay. You pray with me? Okay. Okay. Put your hand cool. in my hand, man. That's no, weird, but it's, it's okay, man. We're, we're brothers, okay? So just repeat after me, okay? Say, Jesus, I need you. And I desire you. I desire to love you. And I give you my life. I give you my life. I want you and all of you. Do not hold back your love for me. I want to give myself to you freely. And holy. and holy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. No, just don't pray. I'm gonna pray right now. Father, we just thank you in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for my brother Shane. And by his own confession of his mouth, Lord, you heard him. And as his heart believes those words that he spoke, God, you honor those words because you honor your word. 
encounter with Jesus. We ask you to just radically encounter your sonship right now. Yeah. Just get one. Yeah. So Shane, what do you think about something like this, man? I don't know, man. Kind of random to be honest. I got you, man. I that, man. Look, I'm, I'm as laid back as it comes, man. I promise. Hey, you. Yeah, you're cool, man. You're a cool guy. Yeah. How about you, man? How you doing? It's going. Yeah. yeah. Can we pray for you too? Sure, why not? Yeah. What's your name, man? Zach. Zach. So my brother Phil's gonna pray for you, yeah, okay? Yeah, for sure. Are you okay being on camera? Is that yeah, cool? cool? All right, cool. Okay. So this, Zach. so this is Zach. Shane, do me a favor, put your hand on his shoulder, man. You haven't had any pain in your body? You don't have any pain? I mean, yeah, you, I got heart back? problems, lung problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. My elbow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, well, the, Lord, the Lord's gonna heal that right now. You, you're, you're gonna feel different. Let's just say that. You're gonna yeah. feel different, okay? I felt different from the moment I started following Christ. Right. Amen. Especially right. mentally. That's awesome. So uh, I'm gonna pray over you real quick. You mind if I put my hand on your shoulder? And it's Zach, uh, Lord Jesus, I pray with Zach right now. Father God, I pray that you will give him uh, the desires of your heart, Lord Jesus. I pray for you to just give him a new experience in you, Father God, that he will just experience you in a way that he never has, Lord Jesus. I pray for just a wholeness to be brought to him right now in Jesus' name. I pray for his heart, Lord Jesus. I pray that you will restore his heart, restore his mind, restore his spirit, Lord Jesus. I pray that he will just be able to see you every night in his dreams, Lord Jesus. I thank you for, for Zeph, Father God. I thank you that you uh, gave him uh, a new life in you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your love, Lord Jesus, that it shines so bright in him, that, that he can be cheerful, that he can be joyful, that he doesn't have to worry about his body because it's your body, because you live within him. So he seeps out your uh, presence out of his pores. He seeps out you and you take care of his body. So I command in Jesus' name for all the pain and all the agony that he has gone through to be gone, wiped out. It, didn't, it doesn't exist anymore. He is made whole. He is made free. He is brought to you as a gift and that he, I pray that he knows that he is a gift and that you have delivered him out of bondage. You've taken him in, into new heights in you. I thank you and I praise you for him, Lord God. He is special, he is love. No one can, can stop that. That's right. Nobody on this earth can stop that love because Jesus gave you that love. You're very open to people. So If I'm open to people, they're open to me and that allows me to be able to help them. Right, I love you, man. So we have a home church that um, we have on uh, every other Sunday, man. If you guys are interested, man, come check it out. No pressure, no nothing. Like he's just standing there, and he's uh, he was just yearning for for more for. Oh yeah. Jesus, like. Yeah. Oh, I totally sense yeah. that too. Yeah. He was. He saw me praying with Shane, and he was like, "Okay, this is Matt. awesome." Yeah. And, and he was like, "All right, I wonder if God's gonna say something to me." <laughs> right. The issues with his, his, his entire body, like he had all this pain in his body, and and you, did you see how? Like I didn't have to ask if he was if he, if he felt better. Like you see how his, his attitude completely changed. Yeah. Like that's just God right there. That's just awesome. Yeah. Praise God. And and we got a uh, man, a new a new man of God for the King. Woo! It's awesome. Recommitted his life. Jesus. Yeah, we as Christians like we try to go to for the jugular and like hey like say this prayer and but when it's more relational like it was t tonight when I asked him I said so how's your relationship with Jesus yeah. and he by his own confession was like it's not good right you know and then he sees somebody he sees people like us coming up with joy and laughter and love yeah. that's inviting you know what I mean right. like people see that and they're like man I want that right and so when you tell them like hey do you want to have like a relationship like what we have yeah then they're like yeah <laughs> please like Peter right Peter's yeah. like Lord, you're not gonna wash my feet. And Jesus is like, if I don't wash your feet, man, you have nothing to do with me. He's like, well then wash my whole body. I want everything to do with you. Yeah, so amazing. So here's the thing, we're gonna pray. God's gonna touch your body. And then we're gonna ask you, how do you feel? All right, yeah. be honest. Don't, don't try to make us feel good. Just let us know, okay? okay? 